Hi, this is Joe from Nine Hill Technologies. Today I'm going to talk about the new Drone Hone plugin, which is a substantial improvement from the first version of the plugin, which was kind of a proof of concept. Um, we're going to talk today about the new plugin, the UI that comes with the new plugin, the Edge Scout device, which will help improve detection rates and make detections far more. Uh, real time than what they otherwise would be. So before we get started, one thing we're going to do is we're going to show the new UI. We can see here um, there are no detected UAS. So we're going to go to our device manager, our internal Wi-Fi scanner, which is what is what was shipped with the first version. It's identical to that capability. And this plugin however we have the ability to turn that on or off as well as some other options that we'll explore a little bit later however right now we can see that that internal Wi-Fi scanner is disconnected so it will not detect any UAS so what we're going to do is we're going to turn on our edge scout and we're just going to press and hold this button for a couple of seconds now this is a demo device um, so as this powers up, you'll see that this blue light will emit a heartbeat indicating that it's waiting to be connected to. So if we go to our tablet, we see that we are looking at the Edge Scout demo device. So we can ask to connect. So we've connected. We get information about like things like battery life as well as some other information. We can, again, auto connect, disconnect, etc. Now, auto connect um, will let us just connect upon startup of the of the plugin. Um, that said, we're going to go back to our main view here, and this is going to allow us to compare the end user display with or the end user device sensor with edge scout detection capability. So we have as labeled the tablet, which is what we have connected to the edge scout. And then we have the phone, which is this device here. Now in this device, we can see that we are not connected to any edge scouts, but we are connected to our internal Wi-Fi scanner. So that is connected. Uh, that will allow us to compare the detection capabilities across these two devices. Now, one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our settings for this particular tool and we are going to turn off sending data across external connections. So let's go to our settings and let's go to our tool preference and our specific tool preference and we'll go to the drone hone plug in here and we'll see we have a couple of options. There is a stolen drone API key that you can get from Aerial Defense. There, in order to obtain a key, you can see there's a link in here, which I'll also post in the, in the notes for the video, uh, as well as another uh, option which allows you to enable or disable whether or not you want to send detections across your network, your multicast or tax server connection. So I'm going to turn that off so that the detections don't show up everywhere just yet. So that said, we'll do the same thing here and we will turn off detections, be extra broadcasting detections from the phone as well. So again, tool preferences, specific tool preferences. We're going to go to um, the drone home option and we're going to go back to um, our main view. So. Now I have a few simulated drones, three simulated drones, in fact, that I'm going to power up. And when I power them up, we'll compare detection capabilities across the two different sensors. So I'm going to power that up now. So I have one um, that we can see the, dr the Edge Scout has detected Im immediately. Uh, the phone has still not quite picked it up. So we'll wait a couple of seconds to see how long before the end user device is able to pick up the the um the sensor
while we wait, we're going to show off some of the new information as well as the new capabilities of the Edge Scout device. So we still are waiting for the phone to detect the first drone using the internal EUD, which sometimes does just take a couple of minutes. It's intermittent. Um, it's more reliable with Bluetooth, which is not supported with the EUD just yet, but um, with certain drones like DJI's, for example, many of them are over a Wi-Fi um, a, a Wi-Fi signal, which just is due to Android restrictions, un, we're unable to pick it up in in, uh, in anything close to real time, which is the why we developed the Edge Scout. And as you can see, our Edge Scout device is moving pretty regularly over here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show a couple of neat things. So if I slide away and I tap on my drone. It brings me to my drone, probably as you'd expect. Shows us things like the mechanism of detection. In this case, we have the Wi-Fi symbol, uh, the, the signal strength of that detection. It's a simulated drone that's very close to this device, so we would expect it to be pretty good signal. And if we tap on the little info button, we get tons more information. Things like serial numbers, flight descriptions, the type of uh, UAS, vertical speed, speed errors, who it was received by, what device it was received by, the mechanism of receiving, in this case, a Wi-Fi beacon, the signal strength of this, when it was seen, when it was last seen, so we can sort of see that we get pretty regular updates. Um, now, one of the other things I want to kind of show off here is firing up a couple more devices. So I'm going to turn on a different type of Wi-Fi signal in uh, three, two, one now. So that'll take just a second to boot up and then we should see that very soon. And likewise, I'm going to turn on a Bluetooth signal. So that one just popped in. Now I'm going to turn on a Bluetooth signal, which is on now. That we see comes in and we can see that this is Bluetooth the type of detection. So I just accidentally tapped on it, which is why it showed me this here. Now I have these both showing up um, in the Disney World area, one of my favorite places. And we can see we have an operator location as well as this UAS that's flying around. This shows us who received this detection and uh, the mechanism by which receipt, etc. cetera. And uh, again, we get the same detail whether it's bluetooth or, or wi-fi and we see that the regularity of these updates are far improved from version one and so these simulated devices are um are, are pretty uh pretty darn accurate representation of what you'd get from a real device so uh so you, this is real what you'd expect in the real world um, and so we see we have one over here that's sort of moving around as well so those are the other two devices now we've we've sort of found these three devices and tracked them and we are still waiting for our first detection on the phone so this is this is what drove the need for something like the edge scout the end user device just isn't always up to the task depending on the the means of of uh, transport for the remote id messages that said, another thing that I need to mention is that these detections are broadcast via COD. So if you go and inspect the marker, you get all the same COD information that you would expect. And also, if any of these devices are reported to Aries Defense, stolen or lost or friendly drone database, then this will make a call to that API and say, hey, this is lost, stolen, or friendly. It'll If it knows about this drone, you'll get additional information pop up here. And what that effectively shows is a little red flag, and then you get whatever the report information, the law enforcement agency that uh, that, that you should report information to, the the victim perhaps. The, the, the amount of information you get back will vary. Uh, depending on the access that you have. And I really can't thank Steve Tissier um, enough 
about uh, with all of his help for for all of this he was an immense resource uh, so thank you thank you thank you i'll put a link to where you can acquire an api key in the notes and uh and again go check his stuff out he is a a phenomenal resource so we've gone a few minutes here and we still haven't got our first detection with the um with the end user device so rather than waiting ad several additional minutes we'll show the capability of broadcasting and what that looks like when it shows up on the other device so we'll kind of cheat a little bit and we will go to our tool preferences and we will go back to our drone home plugin and we will enable this auto broadcast feature and we can see that as additional detections are shown so we're just found all three of those on the on the phone we are able to display the same rich information on the receiving device that you get on the detecting device even though this device the phone that is was not the receiving device we still see all the same details including loss or stolen status we still see all this information pop up on on any device with the plugin. Now, if you don't have the plugin, you still are able to get these raw cop markers. You just don't get all the same rich information that you would, that you get if you have the plugin. Things like speed and error, basically everything you see in the screen here. So we can see that this is far improved from version one. We can see that we get near real time updates for each of these these drones. Now, a couple of things that I want to mention. If you are using your internal Wi-Fi setup, the scanner, this internal scanner, then connecting and disconnecting this has no impact whatsoever on your ability to connect to a wireless network. It 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 doesn't matter if you're connected to a wireless network, if you're connected to Wi-Fi network or not has no impact whatsoever. So, so the scanning does not affect your connectivity in any way. Uh, that's probably one of the more common questions that I've gotten. Um, so that is really the, the difference between these more real time, uh, capabilities with the edge scout compared to the end user device.